I don't know if you've noticed, but ENTPs are probably one of the most dangerously charismatic of all of the 16 personality types. What that means is they have this ability to influence the values and opinions of the people around them almost effortlessly, naturally. They can somehow convince anyone of almost anything. So ENTPs, they are really good at debates and arguments and discussions. And they're really good at connecting with and bonding with and building rapport with almost anyone. So ENTPs, they tend to have this ability to connect with basically anyone they're talking to. And that's pretty fascinating. That's pretty amazing. So the question is, how are they able to be so naturally good at connecting with people without having dominant extroverted feeling? And what are the downsides of this charisma? Why is this charisma so dangerous? So what I've noticed is a lot of ENTPs say they tend to feel that their friendships are a bit empty and one-sided. So a lot of ENTPs, they notice that they are very good at making other people laugh. They're very good at making people feel at ease. They're very good at building positive rapport and connection with other people. But a lot of the time they tend to feel this report is kind of one-sided. So what they end up noticing is they are very quickly getting people to like them. And they're very good at getting people to like them. Even people that they don't themselves like or enjoy. So as an ENTP, it's very easy to get trapped in a conversation with somebody absolutely mind-numbingly boring. It's easy as an ENTP to start joking around with and causing another person to laugh. Even a person that is downright dull, even a person that's an idiot, even a person that has not the intellectual capacity to keep up with your arguments, thought process and logic and discussions. So what you'll end up feeling with, like as an ENTP is you're building good rapport, you're connecting with people, you're being really friendly, you're building a good relationship, but you're feeling mind-numbingly bored by this whole discussion. At the same time, you find yourself in this one-sided, you know, the other person really likes me, but I kind of really don't like them. So <laughs> that's really difficult. And it's really difficult as well in discussions and in arguments because you can convince somebody to believe in something that you yourself do not believe with. So when you're making an argument and when you say something, when you put something out there, and the other person goes, oh yeah, all right, you're absolutely right. You're going, no, that's not right at all. That's really stupid and you should tell me it's stupid. And so what you wanna think about as an ENTP is how do I build genuinely meaningful relationships? How do I build genuinely, genuinely <laughs> authentic, good, healthy, positive, fun relationships with actually intelligent people, with people that are actually interesting, with people that actually give me energy? So as an ENTP, you wanna start really thinking about the relationships you have and the connections that you have with different people. And you wanna think about what am I getting out of these relationships? You wanna think about, okay, what is it I want out of a relationship? What kind of challenge am I looking for? And let's be honest, you need challenge. You need somebody that will question you. You need somebody that will hold you to standards, people that will hold you accountable, people that will check your arguments, check your logic, check your data, people that will keep up with your reasoning, people that can follow your arguments from point to end. You need people that can be constructive and can keep going when you are playing devil's advocate because they are just like you, curious about the end result. Where are you going with this? What are you trying to learn? What are you trying to figure out? What are these different back and forths supposed to mean? So what I've come to learn is ENTPs that are looking for meaning in life, ENTPs that feel empty, ENTPs that feel a bit dead or dulled, or bored by their current education route, their current workplace, their current friendships. These ENTPs, they need challenge and they need standards. And so what they need is extroverted thinking. 
you need to people that actually look at your results. Okay, ENTP, so what did I, you actually accomplish with this? Okay, ENTP, so what was your score? So what are your numbers? So what are your actual data points? And you need people that won't let you cheat because let's be real, when you are that charismatic, when you are that good at talking, it's very easy to get out of anything. You can get out of any chore, any duty, any task because you're good at talking your way through it. You can make your boss laugh and because you can make your boss laugh, you can make your boss forget about what you're doing. Because you're good at charm, because you're good at presentation, you can make yourself look good even when you don't deserve it. And so what you're doing when you're doing all these things is you're kind of uh, hardwiring yourself towards imposter syndrome. Because every time you use charisma to get ahead in life, you're also telling yourself that I'm not worthy of being ahead because I only did it through my voice. So... Be careful of that line of thinking. Be careful of when you start thinking that you haven't earned what you've done. Be careful when you think that you've only gotten where you are because of your voice or because of your charisma, because of your good sense of humor. And start thinking, okay, what am I actually doing? And what are my actual numbers? And what are my actual results? So... If you can find people in your life that see through bullshit, people that can look at your numbers, people that can look at your figures, you're going to be in a position where you are actually challenged and actually stimulated. Because these people are going to remind you of things that are actually meaningful, things that are actually fun, things that are actually valuable. I mean, a lot of the time, the reputation you build for yourself is just empty air it's just an air castle it's just bull <laughs> so you have to really look at okay do i actually feel good by the friendships and connections that i've made do i actually feel good about the reputation i built for myself do i actually feel good about the persona that i present to the world does it actually give me anything to have this reputation does it actually complete me fulfill me to be at this level because what i've found is ENTPs constantly confuse their tool with their mission. And you know, the ENTP's tool is their voice, and the ENTP's mission is problem solving. So as an ENTP, what is it you want to do? As an ENTP, what you want to do is you want to solve problems. You want to address issues in the world. You want to present people with things that aren't working. And you want to present people with solutions. ENTPs dream of using creativity and change and forward thinking and progressiveness and learning, fast learning, fast data to hard track problem solving, to hard track a solution to different problems in the world. So you want to look at society and you want to look at what problems exist in society, what issues are around and what can I do to fix them. So. Just remind yourself that while other people are maybe complimenting you on your voice or your presentation or all that stuff, that fluff around you, you want to feel motivated, seen because of your problem solving, your intelligence, your accuracy, your ability to correct things that aren't working, your ability to see problems that other people can't even see. So this is also the reason why... Even when people are complimenting you for something, even when people are saying, oh, you're so funny, oh, you're so nice, oh, you're so uh, awesome. <laughs> what you want to hear is something very different. You want people to hear, to tell you, and this is the thing, if you want to compliment an ENTP, tell them they did good. Tell them they fixed something for you. Tell them they made something better. Tell them you made a difference. Because what ENTPs want to hear is, Wow, that person is able to solve my problem. That person is able to make things better. That person is able to see issues that I didn't even realize. Because that is the grand fundamental lesson for all ENTPs. And as an ENTP, you want to recognize the difference between your grand fundamental lesson, mission in life and the tool set that you have to get it done. Because you should only be using your charisma 
to connect with and make people understand your solutions. You should only be using your charisma, your sense of humor to make people laugh while they are addressing your ideas and while they are going, wow, that's profound. So you want people to laugh <laughs> while they are also at the same time going, wow. Anyways, that's what I have to say to all ENTPs out there. And I hope this video can help you as an ENTP really think about what you want out of life. And I hope it will give you a better, bigger sense of meaning. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.